everybody, Dark Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last time we left off, we were in the middle of fighting our way through a bunch of mercenaries and Krogan here on Corliss. And, full disclosure type thing, I should probably let you know about this. I, this is actually the second time I've recorded this session, because the first time my game audio didn't record properly so now I have to come back and do it again which is a little annoying because that's about an hour's worth of footage that I can't actually use so not exactly um, the best thing or most enjoyable but now we have to go kill these guys all over again uh, Kasumi you mind? Garrus you mind? By the way, die bitches die. Let's regen my health before I put myself in the line of fire again. By the way, Kasumi, spank him for me please. Because yes, we're just giving them a glorified spanking quite clearly. About. That's your friend burning to death. By the way, uh, we may be starting in a slightly a different location than we were at before. I'm not 100% sure. For cover. The short version... The short version is basically the... F that what was going on is... I wasn't sure if I had the save game where I started this session the last time around, so I just had to try and start it as close to where I was at the end of last time as I possibly could. And I don't completely remember how well I pulled that off. By the way, Kasumi, murder his face, please. I need to get that asshole out of the way. Come on. There. But we have crossfire thro being thrown at us from these jackasses, so... Not the most enjoyable thing, but what you gonna do? And Kasumi, please help us by getting rid of those bastards up there who have a freaking height advantage, among other things, and are making things that much more difficult on me. There. Burnt to death. I'll take that. Regen check. More ammo check. Take our asses up here to deal with these pricks, check. By the way... Please deal with these idiots for me, Sumi. And Garrus, you can help with a bit of that. Okay, now um, get that down, and Kasumi. Also, I am switching to the hand cannon. Have I mentioned the fact that these guys are annoying, and I don't like any of them? Because they are annoying, and I do not like any of them. It's a thing with heavies in this game, I'm afraid. They have a tendency to get on my nerves. Just because they love to throw their fucking grenades at me like they're going out of style. And it really is quite aggravating. 
up yours. Okay, Kasumi, now you can whack people. That's going to come in handy. By the way... Back to this, I think? That trooper idiot still has his shields. Well, not anymore. Haha. -ha. Uh, fuck, you're wounded. Kasumi, would you? Thank you so much. I see a heavy over there. Can't reach the target. Can't get a lock. Can't reach the target. God damn it. I wanted to punish them with a bit of point blank range charging, but wasn't able to, unfortunately. That is so annoying. God. Grab what we can for ammo. And here we are Shepherd, again. Don't shoot, you know me. That's right, we do. And sorry, some of my commentary may end up being a little bit lackluster in this part. For a couple of reasons. The main one being I've gone through this already, and I don't enjoy recording things multiple times. I just find it kind of tedious. But we do know her, actually. She was a researcher working on Saren's Genophage Cure Lab in Mass Effect 1, and we let her go. Of course, she had to outrun a nuke, as she'll tell us in just a second, but we did let her go. Now I just have a terminal to hack before we do anything else. Okay, let's see here. There, that'll be our 4K credits. Hey there, Rana. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Rana Thanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab yeah. on Vermeer. I don't know Had why I bothered to explain pod, that. But it's still a second chance. Is we already. I don't know why I bother to explain that, seeing as she does it for us, but I just feel like telling people my own words, I guess. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Why doesn't she voice Everyone the deserves I can second tell, chance, right? I wonder. And sometimes giving That's one pays of strange. off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. Yeah, this guy does he wants not to help seem his people, but he's not looking for nice. genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. Curious. That's all I know. Yes, a Krogan that wants to help their people, but isn't interested in curing the genophage or restoring their numbers. That's not something I've heard before. Very interesting. But Rana, I'll give you a little bit of free advice here. You should try harder to avoid trouble. Finding you somewhere like here makes me think that you're neck deep in it. You don't want that. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. Exactly. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. She seemed nice, in that mad scientist <laughs> ethics for sale kind of way. Have I mentioned how much I love Kasumi? Because it's worth restating. Kasumi is absolutely Here awesome. You are. I've watched your progress. Okay. 
Hey there, Okir. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic you mercs. You could have killed the mercs for me, you know. But, judging by what Rana said out there and the subtitles, I'm assuming that you're Okir. I take it you're Okir. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help. But the formerly deceased Shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she has. And it sure wasn't easy to decide to destroy a genophage here on Vermeer. Even if it was necessary. Because, well, mostly because of the fact that we'd gotten to know Rex pretty well at that point and considered him a friend and didn't really want to be destroying something that could help the Krogan, since basically at that point we were judging all of Krogan based on Rex. Which maybe wouldn't work quite so well. Let's see. Yes, it was a very tough decision. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd yeah, consider that, it. and we were kind of on I the approve. clock. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I'm sorry, what? I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. Oh, burn strong, on Jador. Healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. And from what I'm hearing, Okir, you're not interested in a horde. You don't want to bring back the days of, like, endless numbers of Krogan slaying their way across the galaxy or whatever. That's not something you're interested in. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return apparently to the numbers that threatened the apparently galaxy. Apparently he doesn't share that ideal, numbers. though. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. Huh. Well, calling him an unfeeling zealot would probably just piss this guy off. And as much as we really do not like him based on first impressions alone, I think Shepard is smart enough to realize they're going to need his assistance. So we're not going to say something like that. But you made a deal with the collectors, yes? What exactly did that involve? What did you get from the collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to yeah, what Sylvanas claims, the genophage that, does but... not produce strong Krogan. I the only quality anyways. it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. 
For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Yeah. This guy, we can basically tell, is like the exact opposite of Rex. As far as Okir is concerned, if, if 10,000 have to die so that a few hundred can be superior to what we get of those 10,000 lived, then so be it. Uh, this guy is basically a callous bastard, and he's the very definition of what Garrus talks about in Mass Effect 3 when he mentions ruthless calculus, because this guy really represents that really well. He's the sort of th person that Rex would absolutely despise, I think, because Rex was all about saving the Krogan and making them better, but not with, like, crazy numbers of sacrifices like this guy is. So, we... I think at this point, Shepard is going to have to basically bite her tongue as she asks him to join, because we really do not want this sort of person on our side, but in the sort of mission we're going into, we don't have the luxury to make that kind of decision. So I hope you'll join us. Could use the help. Biting my tongue a little as we say that, like I said. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct. Extreme threat. doesn't begin Will to you help bloody us? cover Perhaps it. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage, but my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oh, here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Okay, data. I already don't like her. I'm going to enjoy shooting that bitch dead. I really am. She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. What's the big deal? Can't you just start over, also? You could just start over like she plans to. Exactly. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. I wonder what he means by that. Do what must be done. Oddly specific thing to say. That. This is valuable. Get our crew vitality. Now, get down here. And I would save the game. I wish the door would do that, it's kind of annoying. And I'm gonna game the system will switch over We've to the weapon. Actually, fuck that. Hey, you mind? You been thinking? <laughs> Have you been drinking? Uh, 
Damn it, I love this. Okay. Fuck. That could have gone better. Oh well. Give it another go. Take us a few goes, by the way. If you hadn't guessed, I seem to be out of my groove a little bit now that I'm having to record it a second time. A little bit annoying, but I can do. Regen a little. By the way, let's get the shotgun out. Yeah, a little bit of that. Thank you, my friends. Jador right now is not looking too healthy. And fuck that mech. Seriously, fuck that mech. But let's go over to this again. Mechy mech mech. Here. More. Needs to be punished. Yes, we'll do that. That. Jador. Please. Get your head up, Jador. See me. I need you to murder her face. God, that is so cheap, guys. Really is. Uh, B 
but... I hope you don't mind if I duck behind here while my health and shields recover. Let's get it some more. There we go. And pop goes the mech. Booyah. Ah, fucking Krogan over there. Does not appear interested in doing things our way. So I guess we'll have to cheat a little. Can't get there. Uh, what the fuck? Well, he's bugged into the wall, so I will beat him to death. Uh, God, bugs. I didn't get this bug on my last Alarms recording. What's that Krogan doing up there? And I would love to know why we even need to kill the last Krogan. I just left him there. And then... Uh, had it advance. Kind of ridiculous that we have to kill everything rather than just Jador in the mech. But enough of that, we better hustle. And he's left us a message while being dead. They're talking about him, if you couldn't tell. And shooting the thing does nothing, fortunately for us. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself yeah, for one and Krogan? That thing can't be to use an here. example from my tough, we need him. favorite enemy ever, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, <laughs> Okir is basically Dr. Giro, just slightly less batshit insane, and uh, our new Krogan we have sitting in the tube up there is basically Cell, just not genetically engineered from every species in existence, and programmed to absorb a pair of androids and who thinks he should exterminate all life in the galaxy after he learns instant transmission. So yeah, different yet not. But yeah, it is kind of hard to pass up, and we could use another heavy hitter on our team. We don't have a lot of people who really fit that category, and I think we need a Krogan on our side for this one, if we can manage. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. Exactly if so. Help, I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. Uh, then we blow him out of the ship's airlock. He's a big one. Or something similar. Or he ends up dying trying to kill us or something, most likely. Let's see. We've hit level 12. Cloning facility destroyed. Okir dead, but his son was recovered. Loss of Okir could be a problem. Will allow Shepard to decide whether or not to activate the Krogan. Oh gee, elusive man. Thank you ever so much for allowing me to decide it on the thing that I was already going to be able to decide on by virtue of the fact that it's on my fucking ship. How intelligent of you. We picked up Krogan Vitality, Sniper Rifle Damage, which I'm certainly going to be researching. <laughs> Just because... We take Garrus on basically every mission, and he is our go-to sniper. So, having some better damage for him would be handy, I think. We also picked up 40,000 credits and 2,000 platinum. Let's close that report. Get going. makes sense, but I have concerns about weight. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. 
A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Well, that mission's done. We just gotta wake up our new friend. And first of all, I'm going to talk with Morden real quick. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. More than just study? What did you do then, Morden? And why don't I like the sound of this? What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists <laughs> develop a treatment? <laughs> kind of Krogan funny scientists. to hear that now. <laughs> uh, outside of maybe over of here, term, no, uh, like he says, evolution. I don't think Krogan there physiology, are any incredibly any curable Krogan scientists. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage, like any other natural hazard, Krogan evolved past it. Yeah, honestly, after all the time we spent interacting with uh, Rex, despite having to shoot quite a few Krogan because they were working for Saren, I think Shepard has a positive opinion of the Krogan overall, and sort of came around to seeing how awful the genophage is overall, in her view, anyways. Because <laughs> before that, she never really saw it as being something that was that big a deal. It was just another bio just another th thing that happened. Why should she care about it? But after meeting and chatting with Rex all the time, Shepard has a much different view on it. So she would definitely see it as good news that the Krogan were evolving past the genophage now. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Seriously, science team, you're geneticists, still using chemists, that sociologists, argument. mathematicians, a thousand created fucking new years version of later Genophage, released it onto Chanka, mm, to other Krogan-centric areas, that's unbelievable. Krogan population. That's really unbelievable. You're still justifying it a thousand years later with the Genophage. It's ridiculous. I mean, like, the way Melinda Shepard would look at it, the Genophage might have been necessary in the immediate aftermath in the couple of centuries surrounding the Krogan rebellions and to end it in the first place but for her the clincher is that it's still around all these years later and they didn't bother reducing it to have less of an effect or anything like that. That's the problem, as far as we're concerned. As Melinda Shepard, I mean. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Well, and I'm just going to play devil's advocate here. Why didn't you just stabilize, sterilize the Krogan completely then? I mean, Shepard obviously thinks this would be a fucking horrific decision uh, for them to take, but we have to play devil's advocate a little bit and not seem like we are totally against Morden in every way, because we're not. 
If the Krogan are so like dangerous, him, why not just, just sterilize uh, them outright? Or opposed to some not of his war, decisions. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still ha have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Okay, now obviously Shepard doesn't agree with that, but... How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Yeah, honestly, I'm just going to say what uh, Shepard thinks here. It was wrong to keep on having the genophage in place like this and not even try to deliberately reduce the effectiveness a little bit or anything. Just, no. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can't stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Well... That was certainly a bombshell and a half, that's for sure. So, Morden worked on a project to recreate the genophage. Linda Shepard's not entirely sure how she feels about that, to be honest. On the one hand, and let's buy that sniper rifle damage. On the one hand, we like Morden. He's quite an interesting character, and he's pretty nice, so we like him. On the other hand, he did work on this genophage project, and that's not something Shepard has too high an opinion of. So, she's a little bit conflicted about it at the moment. messages we have, but I'm going to hold off on those. We're just going to drop one down here to say hi to Kasumi, and then say hi to Zaid before we do anything else. Because, and I know this from my last recording, other than Kasumi, Zaid, and Morden, nobody has anything to say to us in conversations right now. So we might as well not bother. Hey! Got a minute? As it, ma as it happens, I do, Kasumi. I really appreciate your help with the Hawkeist. I've been going through Keiji's gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. Yeah, just don't be watching your memories of Keiji all the time. It'll be fine, okay? You can do it all you like on the ship, but if we're out in the middle of a mission and I tell you to punch someone in the back of the head, and you don't hear me because you're watching your memory of the first time you had sex or something, then we are gonna have issues, Kasumi. Just wanted to mention it. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. They probably are at Gabby that. Gabby and Ken would make a great they couple. They probably are. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Yeah, I'm sure Dr. Chocolate lost more than a few old friends when the first Normandy went down, so... Shepard and Joker are probably some of, if not her only, old friends that are still alive. Plus probably a few people with the Alliance who didn't join up for the uh, New Normandy and all that. And she's not wrong about Gabby and Ken. They certainly do argue like an old married couple, even if they don't play the part just yet. But 
now, time to say hi to Zaid before we go and wake up our Krogan. Back for another lesson. Something like that, yeah. Ever been to a Batarian prison? <laughs> they don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's where they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. Yeah, and I think we can both guess that Zaid went for option B here. I'd really say that's the most likely with this guy. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah. It kind of would make things a little bit awkward I should let you if go. your Talk more girlfriend you slash lover slash the person that you sleep with on a regular basis sold you out to a mercenary band. That would kind of make things awkward, now wouldn't it? In any case, it's time to turn on Sell the Krogan and see if he tries to murder us. And how many times we have to shoot him to get him to come in line. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where tertiary, applicable. No defects really? of any kind, tertiary. aside from the genetic markers of the so genophage Krogan present in all Krogan. Three I cannot sets judge mental organs. functioning. Wow, that is impressive, almost scarily so. Alright, Edie, crack her open and let's see what this guy's like. Uh, oh, and if you can manage it, I'd suggest you have an assault team of marines standing by outside the door to rush in and shoot him dead if he tries anything I can't handle. Alright? Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. Well, he's too valuable to leave, and I'm hoping you got my message about the team of marines outside, Edie. Otherwise, if this goes badly wrong, I'm blaming you. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Female. That had to Before hurt. You die, I, I mean, mean, really, we were just slammed into the bulkhead of our ship. That had to be painful. Honestly, if Shepard didn't have all that cybernetic reinforcement from Cerberus bringing her back to life and everything, then I would suggest at least some broken ribs, if not worse from that sort of thing. Fortunately, that's not the case here. At least I don't think so. I mean, we don't ever show Shepard having to go and visit Dr. Chakwas to get patched up after an especially bad mission, where I almost die multiple times, but that doesn't mean it never happened just that it's not something that's especially important to show. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. 
I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Grunt? That's an unusual thing to choose for a name. Why Grunt, specifically? You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Well, I'm not going to tell him to stand down or else uh, threatening a Krogan with something that would come across as empty is a good way to get our skull bashed in. The same with saying he owes us because we released him. Although those are fairly stupid things to say with these guys, but I don't want to start a relationship by telling him essentially he should obey us because we're his boss. So that leaves only one option. If you join my crew, then we'll find your reason. I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. That You'd works make it stronger. Too. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. <laughs> huh? And we pull our uh, sidearm that we no longer use in the, the field other. out of the hammer Why space, shepherd? apparently. If I find a clan. Because that most if definitely wasn't I there when he slammed us want, against the wall. I will be honored to eventually pit them against a you. A Krogan compliment. Lovely. Hey, Grant. Shepard. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources yeah, we I'd found? Yeah, I'd like to get a few mm, upgrades, maybe? Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. I'll decide that for myself. Shotgun needs 15k platinum. So... I'll get the Krogan Vitality upgrade so that he gets more health. I don't know if we're ever actually going to use uh, Grunt as a member of our squad that we take into battle, but I want to get him all the available upgrades I can, just in case. Same with everyone else. Speaking of, let's head to my cabin. And feed the fishy fishies, so they don't die again. Dear lord, that was embarrassing. And it's Boo! Hello there, Boo! To those of you who don't get the Boo thing, you have obviously never played Boulder's Gate. Or you would understand that. It's our new toy. Hooray! But, I think that this is going to be a good place to cut this episode. So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching my Let's Play of Mass Effect 2. I hope you'll join me next time, when I will probably be doing a whole bunch of side quests that I'll be uncovering in between this time and next time. Because in between my recordings, I'm also going to be doing a whole bunch more mining and buying of upgrades. 
just because I consider to be I consider the Mass Effect 2 mining to be honestly a bunch of boring crap that I don't give a damn about. And I don't enjoy watching mining myself. So I'm not going to do it on camera since I don't find it enjoyable. And I tend to not record things like that that I don't personally think are enjoyable to watch. Anyways, this is it for now. So if you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. So long for now, folks. <laughs>